Hi everyone, welcome to Stamping with Wow. It's Jennifer Sasaki, your favorite Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is October 2nd. Can you believe it? We are in October. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using the Life is Beautiful stamp set. I think it's really cute. It is one tree and it gives you circles leaves and snowflakes to decorate around the tree so it's a multi-seasonal tree it has a cute little birdhouse a hello thinking of you and life is beautiful i just love that sentiment especially right now i think we need a reminder of that this stamp set is 17 dollars. this is the link to my store and here is the October 2020 hostess code. If you're placing an order under $150, go ahead and use that hostess code. I'm going to be using the De Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. This paper has a whole lot of plaid in it. <laughs> if you like plaid, this is the paper for you. I want to show you, so here's the stamp set. Then I'm going to also be using the Celebration Label dies, which this is a really cute cutout um, that does a layering with stitches. So I'm gonna be using the third largest or second smallest, however you wanna say it. And then I'm also gonna be using the stitch shaped framelit dies. I'm just gonna be using the smallest square one for my sentiment. I'm gonna use the embroidered ribbon, which comes with the plaid tidying suite. Then we're going to be using Bumblebee Ink, Blackberry Bliss, Pumpkin Pie, and Cajun Crave. So I'm going to be using a card that's made out of Blackberry Bliss and I cut it on the 11 by 4 and a quarter scored at the 5 and a half. And this is 4 inches by 5 and a quarter as a layering. And then I have two pieces of Very Vanilla, and these are both going to be at four by five, five and a quarter. So all three of these pieces are the same size. And you also want some form of scrap big enough for your sentiments. So I'm going to eventually die cut this paper out, but I didn't want to die cut it before I stamp. So we're going to start with our tree. I'm going to do the tree in crumb cake. Crumb cake's a very neutral, light color, and I think that'll get me what I need. So some of this tree is obviously gonna get cut off when I stamp my die cutted image. So that's something you wanna take into consideration. Some Cajun craze leaves, some pumpkin pie leaves, and some bumblebee leaves. And we're probably even going to do some Blackberry Bliss leaves. That's a lot of leaves, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to layer them. So I'm going to do one of pumpkin pie and we'll stamp it off. Then I'm going to do the same technique for each one, but I will place them in different places. Because I just want a multitude of this coloring. I'm not sure. Blackberry Bliss is coming in now. I think we might want some leaves on the ground. Let's put some, and we're going to go right off of it. There we go. And we'll put some yellow in there. I'm cleaning my stamp in between inking. You just might not be able to see it. Oop, that was a lot. So there we go. We're supposed to add the tree house. I think we'll do the tree house in the Cajun craze. We're going to want our die cut in the exact spot. I'm going to tape it down so I get what I really want. There we go. And that's the image that we are going to be using. Hello needs to fit inside that. So I'm going to just die cut this real quick. And I was thinking of stamping it as a diamond shape. 
something like that. I'm leaning towards, I could do Blackberry Bliss. let's do the inside of our card real quick so I'm going to repeat with the crumb again and I'm only gonna do half of the tree on the side so I'm just gonna lay this over here about like So I'm going to stamp second generation with the pumpkin pie. So, oh, maybe I want first generation. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Come in with some bumblebee. I think the bumblebee would be fine first generation. not too much and then we'll just add some down here and then we have like a, a ink kind of it's I'm not sure what that is but uh, let's add that maybe the Cajun crates again and we're just gonna second generation it so it's not too vivid there we go how about a nice gentle reminder of how beautiful life is for this time of year. We'll stick with the Blackberry Bliss since that's what we used on the outside. And we'll put it down here so that if you were writing a sentiment or writing a message in there, you have plenty of room for that. So that's the inside of our card. We can go ahead and put that, I think, safely inside without any problems. I need a color between those two. I'm going to use the next level up on the layered dies. We're going to pop that up. So the ribbon can go one of two ways. Or maybe we'll just keep it simple and put the ribbon this way and it's on the diamond like that. And we'll just tie a knot in there. All right, so we'll just... I think if I want to tie a knot or not. I'm just gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna tie, tie both these ends. I'm gonna tape both these ends behind the plaid card. So let's see where I need this to be about. If this goes like this, and this is going to lay on top, I want my ribbon to be in this orange groove right here. So I'm just going to tape a tiny bit to the back side. This ribbon's the same on both sides, so you don't have to worry about getting it uh, backwards. Ooh, look at that pretty Christmas. There we go. Oh, you know what I should have done first? Let's go ahead and tie this in its knot. Okay. Like so. 
that down. Bring it over here. Like so. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll just fix our tails a little bit. Put a glue dot down on that. So it stays down. There. Alright, next, let's go ahead and glue this guy down. Oh, we put that glue dot down. I can't tuck him under. I'll have to lift. So I'm putting a glue dot down until after <laughs> you get your stamped image on there. there we go. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to pop that up on some dimensionals. Probably just going to use two. using the black ones only because I have them out and no particular reason. I have them, we gotta use them up because Halloween's over. I'm trying to, well, that might fit because of the other layer. Let's see if we can get this. I think I need it a wee bit more. then we're just going to tape that onto here. I guess I should have put all of this on after I mounted the card. I always get excited and skip steps. So this has happened to me before. <laughs> but don't fret. I'll recover. And that's a really cute card. There you have it. And you can write a nice little sentiment to your friend. I hope you enjoyed this card making tutorial. If you did, could you please like and subscribe to this channel? I hope you have a great day and thank you for spending a part of it with me. Bye.